Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV back with you again with a, another quick mod. This time I'm going to install what's called a remote control switch, 12 volt switch. So this one I just picked up cheaply off Amazon. I think it was $13. It's called the E Milo. That's what it looks like. This is the case, but inside this is the guts of it. So it's got a little wireless uh, remote controls here. Comes with two of them, and you can actually switch two loads. A lot of people would use them to switch lights on and off, but my use case is to switch my DC to DC battery charger. This Red Energy that I installed uh, about a year ago or so, and uh, I had installed it. It needs it needs a, sw a 12 volt switch to turn it on and off. Um, if you're in a vehicle, <clears throat> you might install it on your ignition system. Um, this is in my trailer, so what I did. The orange wire is the trigger wire, the 12 volt wire, and I just wired that to um, my marker lights or the running lights of the trailer. So when I turned the truck lights on, this would click on. But I thought this would be a good second way to have more control over it. If I didn't want to run it, even though my lights were on, I could just turn that on and off. Say if I was going to be powering a grade and I wanted I didn't want anything drawing off my alternator or if it was, you know, getting hot out or if I was in stop and go traffic where the alternator wasn't cooling as well, I'd have the option to maybe turn that off as well. But keep my lights on. I kind of like having it hooked to my lights because then I won't forget it. I don't leave my lights on, so at least I won't accidentally leave this thing on as well. That's why some people will, will wire it to the ignition so when they turn the, the vehicle off, this thing turns off. Anyway. I'm going to install this thing. There'll be all kinds of different uses anytime you want to switch 12 volts. So it comes with all kinds of different programming. It can be latching or uh, momentary, that type of thing. You can program it to different modes. It comes preset to what I want, which is I want to push the button and I want the resist, I want the, one of these to <clears throat> become a short so I can run the 12 volt wire through. So I'll just show you, I just have it temporarily hooked up to this power box, so I have 12 volts to it. And then I have a meter across the terminals here, and you can see it says, oh well, open connection. Press the button, there we go. So now that switch has switched that wire on. So that's going to work good for me. It'll remotely switch my charger on and off. So to install it, I'm going to install it on the input side, so there's no power to that unless I plug the truck in. And then I'll just cut into that wire and put this thing right up in that little corner there. And then we'll demo it with the, the charger hooked up to the truck. Okay, got the truck all hooked up. We'll give her a try. There we go. You can see the amps there, B140. So the DC to DC charger is working. Charging 40 amps into my battery off the truck. And we'll turn her off. Let's just take a few seconds to refresh. There you go, you see the amps going down. So cool. That works as I want it to. Yep, back up again. 40 amps. So I was able just to tuck it up in the corner there and wire it in. Nifty little gadget. Gives me a little bit of extra uh, level of control over the, the DC to DC charger. If you want to see my install videos on the charger, I'll give a, a link in the in the description below. Till next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers, folks.